Hi, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and my project today is for the Elizabeth Craft Designs Designers Challenge for December 2017, which is backgrounds. So because I'm a stamper, I used my stamps, this set, the Snowman and Gifts dice or stamp set, um, to create my backgrounds. So I am stamping um, the two large snowflake stamps, as well as there's a star stamp in that stamp set. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of saying the word stamp. Um, in Versamark ink onto this uh, piece of 85 pound white soft finish cardstock, and then I embossed, I covered that with white heat embossing powder, and then I heat set it with my uh, embossing gun. And I just kind of stamped the three different stamped images um, just kind of around on the background to get a nice, like, variation of sizes and shapes, as you can sort of see there to create the background pattern. And now I'm taking my distress inks on a craft mat and I'm just smooshing them on there directly from the ink pad. Um, so this is Wilted Violet Picked Raspberry, that's Blueprint Sketch, and then I will add a little bit of mowed Lawn. And then I'm going to take my distress sprayer and spray this pretty well to get like a, get the sort of beaded up and fairly wet. And then I'm gonna take the embossed piece of paper there which is five and a half by five and a half, by the way, um, and just smush it into the ink. And there you can sort of see how the ink color transfers and then the embossing resists the ink. And now I'm just kind of smushing it into specific areas of the ink to get, to try to get like, you know, some darker ink in certain spaces, trying to cover up the edges that didn't really get covered in that initial stamping because there I, you know, have smushed more ink on. And I'll just continue this for a little while um, until I get the color to a level that I, that I like it. And like the pattern and the variation of the different colors around the whole pattern looks good to me. Um, but it doesn't really get dark enough. So I decide what I wanna do is go direct to paper. So what that means is I'm taking the ink pad and I'm very lightly stamping it onto the background, like directly onto the background. So I'm twisting my hand as I'm doing it because I'm trying to avoid getting like the impression of the actual ink pad, which is like a square um, onto the cardstock. Now the cardstock is fairly wet because I've picked up all that wet ink. Um, so that's helping diffuse any like edge marks that I'm getting from the ink pads as I'm stamping it directly onto the paper. Um, there are a little bit here and there, you're probably noticing as I'm doing this, um, but I just keep going and keep going and then spray it with water. And then I'm gonna blot it with a paper towel. And that also helps to kind of diffuse any edge marks and blend the colors a little bit. And I just went back and forth doing this, I don't know, three times maybe until I got the color to the level and the saturation that I liked and sprayed it one more time and then I was done and set it aside to dry. And then I buffed it a little bit with a cloth to pull any ink off the white embossed snowflakes. And you'll see later that it is very bright in the end when it's dried. Now I'm using the greeting I Melt For You from the Holiday Cheer stamp set and I'm um, stamping this with Ranger Grape Soda ink onto some 85 pounds soft finish cardstock because uh, it coordinated well with the wilted violet in the background. And now the star of my show is gonna be this snowman stamp with the birds on his hat. And I'm gonna stamp this in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink onto some Nina Solar White cardstock because I'm gonna be coloring this with my Copic markers. And then because the birds are holding a string of lights, and I didn't want this to be a Christmas card, I wanted this to be more like a love or Valentine card, I took my Copic liner and I just drew another loop onto the lights to turn them into hearts. And so now I'm going to color this guy. So I'm starting off with BV11, which is like a very well, pale-ish uh, blue-violet color, hence the BV. And then I'm going to blend it out with my C00. And this does a nice job of like giving him a little bit of shading that has kind of a blue-violet cast to it. The gray, the, the cool gray here really takes away a lot of the color of that BV11, but it, but it leaves enough that it's, it's like an impression on the snowman's body, which I really liked. And then I'm base coating with his scarf in V15, avoiding the like thin stripes. 
and then I'm adding shading with BV08 just along the lower edge and then along the edge where the uh, tassels or fringe is. And then I'm going to blend that again by coloring over it with the V15 to get like a nice sort of shaded edge on his scarf that's still purple, which is what I was going for because again, I'm coordinating with the colors in the background panel. And then for the stripes on his scarf and the fringe, I'm using YG17 and just the very tip of that marker to get in those thin stripes. For his nose or his carrot, I'm using RV07 as the as the darker shade, and then uh, oh sorry YR07, then YR04 to blend. And the birds are Y04 and then Y08 for some shading, and then blend again with the Y04. And then the hearts I'm filling in with RV09. And then I did fill in the little bulb ends with the Copic liner to just turn them black. And now his hat and his buttons, I'm going to base coat in W6, so it's a warm gray. And his, oh, and his branchy arms too. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a little bit of shading with W8. And then I will blend again with the W6. So just go over that to kind of blend the 6 and the 8 together to get like a nice smooth blend. And then his hat band is uh, B63, and then I'm adding shading with B66, and then again blending it back with the B63 to get a nice blue on his hat band. And then I'm adding a little more C00 to his head, adds a little bit of lines to the carrot with my Copic liner, and then his pink cheeks with RV21, and I'll blend that out a little bit with the C00. And that's the finished coloring. Not too difficult. And I did die cut him out with the matching dies. And then I have die cut some soft finish lavender cardstock with the third largest stitched hearts die. Trim the background panel down to five by five. And then I've got a five inch by five inch white card base. And there is the, the greeting that I trimmed down to like one and an eighth inch high. And then I die cut out the sides using the smallest die cut in the stitched rectangles die set. So it has a little stitch detailing on the two um, vertical edges on either end. And so now I'm just adhering everything down with my favorite clear double-sided adhesive tape. So it was 10 millimeter on the card, the background panel, which I had trimmed to five by five. I hope I mentioned that. Um, and then the heart was adhered down with six millimeter adhesive. And then I have to sparkle up my snowman. Got to have a little sparkle um, with my Spectrum Noir clear sparkle marker. And then I'll be using three millimeter uh, clear double-sided adhesive tape to adhere him down to the center of the of the heart. And then my greeting is going to get a little bit of six millimeter uh, clear double-sided adhesive tape on either side. And I'll adhere that um, into the lower right of the card and just overlapping the heart a bit. And that is the completed project. And I really, really love the background. I think it turned out really nicely. I love how the soft finish cardstock holds up with the distress inks, like all the wetness <laughs> that's usually involved in just in blending with the distress inks. And there's a good look at the coloring. And I just like using uh, stamped images for to create sort of our own pattern paper um, on a background. So I hope I've inspired you to try that out if you haven't done that before. It's a great way to sort of use your stamps in a different way. So thanks so much for watching. As always, supplies are linked in the video description and over on my blog. If you liked the video, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it even more if you do that. And here are two more projects I've done in the past for Elizabeth Craft Designs. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day.